Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to tell you about adding images to your Google Forms. And I ask you to do this because look at, this is a two question entrance ticket for students. And then I put this here, this is what students see. There's no theme, there's no images, it's just boring text. Do your students a favor, give them visuals to hook into to engage them. So let's change this and let's fix it. So first thing I wanna do is we want to go right here to customize theme. And I want a banner image that really speaks to this unit. And so I'm going to use a website called Pexels. It's the world's first free inclu uh, inclusive free stock photo and video library. Awesome. And I will search for French flag. This is, you can see my recent searches are there. And I will go, and I love this one because it's a French flag. The tricolor comes from the French Rev. And it's a protest today. So it kind of connects today and yesterday and French Rev, love it. So I'm gonna go to free download. I don't need the original, which is huge. I'll just take the large, I'll go to free download. And by the way, I can put this text right here from Pexels, even though you don't have to, they don't require you to do it. How great is that? So let's go add that to our form now under customized theme, we will choose image, we will upload. And it's going to give me, so I want to get both the flag and the smoke. That's, that's okay. All right, we'll do that. We hit done. And now it's changed. It's actually taking the color of these buildings here a little bit, but I can change that to be more red. Oh, I like that red. Um, whatever you want to do there, but it's taking colors from the image that you just did. So now we're talking about the tennis card oath. First question, right? Let me put a picture of the tennis court oath. So I click this icon just by hovering on the, on the question, you get the icon and I will go, I don't even, I'll just do a Google image search. So these are labeled for reuse and I will type tennis court oath. And there we go. And that's the typical one you see. Now, bam. At the start of this question, the students are prompted visually. They remember, oh yeah, the tennis court oath. They're all taking that oath, right? They're in a tennis court. It's an indoor tennis court and there's no net, but you, you get my point. Now, I have some multiple choice answers here. So we can do this for answers too. So let's do declaration of Pilnitz. I'm just going to copy that. And again, look what happens. Add image comes up when I hover Google image search. And there it is. Here for this one, I'll do uh, Rose Pierre execution. Rose Pierre guillotine, we'll do that. Thank you. Uh, I'll, oh, there we go. Eh, yeah, we'll take that one. And by the way, I can delete them right there. Let me do Napoleon real quick. And I gotta spell it right, but you get the point. Now, one thing I would love to see is if I do this search right here, you see I'm copying the text. I would love it if I put Storming of the Bastille right when I go to add image, it goes to Google image search and has the Storming of the Bastille populated. That I think would be a great improvement. I hope to see that at some point. All right, so let's see what we have and we'll go to the eye right here. And so I have this lovely image here. I got Tennis Court Oath. The four choices all have an image so that students have this visual hook. Look what it looked like before, that. So what would you rather your kids work with as they do entrance and exit tickets? This or that, much, much better. And the great thing is, is once you've done it, remember in Google Forms, you can always import questions. So you can do this throughout your unit Take that minute or two that I showed you to add those images. And then on tests, you can decide, do I want to import those questions or do I want to, you know, maybe not have the imagery, just make it text. It's really up to you. But for a test, hey, put a theme image, you know, make it, you know, nice or whatnot. And honestly, on a test, having this image there for the tennis court oath only helps students 
they live in the real world. They can access any imagery they want. There's no, this doesn't give away the answer, nor does this either. So have at it. Anyway, I hope I've convinced you to add imagery to your Google Forms. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.